Hi, beautiful people. It's Wonderful Wednesday. I'm April Roll, your ER doctor online, and today's video is to shed some light on preventing childhood obesity. September is Childhood Obesity Awareness Month, and in this video, I'm going to give you five easy tips to help prevent childhood obesity. In America, one out of five children suffer from obesity, and that obesity can lead to other comorbidities like diabetes, uh, hypertension, asthma, sleep apnea, and heart disease. So it's very important to do everything that you can to prevent it. And like I said, I'm gonna give you five simple tips to help you do that. Number one is eat the rainbow. That's very easy to remember because we know all the vibrant colors of the rainbow. If you focus on eating fruits and vegetables that have those vibrant colors, you're, you're um, ensuring that the child is getting a variety of nutrients and a variety of vitamins because those are the things that um, bring out those beautiful colors in those fruits and vegetables. Another thing, tip number two, which kind of goes along with eating as well, but more specific, is cut down on the sugar. Like reduce the sugar, okay? An easy way to do this is cut out the sodas, cut out the, um, the, the fruity drinks, cut out the um, flavored milk, okay? And even, you know, things with processed sugar. Just cut it out of the diet because that is contributing to obesity. Number three, reduce screen time. This, I kind of want to, let me put three and four together. So um, three, as I said, reduce screen time and four, move. I'm going to actually talk about four, move more um, first. Children need to get 60 minutes of physical activity daily. And the reason I'm tying this in, um, moving more and reducing screen time is because in society today, we have so much technology readily available on our phones, on our tablets, on our TV, or you know any, any kind of way, you pretty much have it at your fingertips. And so children are growing up, at least you know compared to when I grew up, um, way more screen time and way less physical activity. They're not outside playing. They're not, you know, moving around, dancing with each other, or, you know, playing kickball, playing hopscotch on the sidewalk. They are in their phone, in their tablet, and that promotes a more sedentary life, uh, lifestyle. Because when you're on your phone or your tablet watching, um, well, I'm not gonna put any specific things out there, but when you're watching programs or you're watching videos, or you're watching whatever on your phone or tablet or TV, you're usually either sitting down, laying down, or doing something where you're physically remaining in the same place, and you're not up being active. Um, so that's why I tied those two together, needing to move more and be more physically active with reducing screen time. And you can reduce screen time by, you know, cutting, cutting off, a, making like a, a screen curfew. Um, not allowing uh, phones or any kind of tech gadgets at the dinner table or um, just basically putting more time requirements, not time requirements, but basically during XYZ time, you can't be, you know, be on your screen or an hour before bed, don't be on your phone because that actually can affect your sleep as well. So as I said, I put three and four together. Now we're coming to number five which actually talks about sleep. So that's kind of a segue, reducing screen time because that can affect your sleep. Now I'm gonna talk about sleep. Get adequate sleep, number five. Children actually need a lot more sleep than adults. I mean, I know you know this, anybody who's ever had a baby or taken care of a baby, um, the baby pretty much sleeps all the time. It's either eating, sleeping, or pooping, right? So. As they get older, they are decreasing their need to be sleep, but um, even from six to 12, they are requiring uh, nine to 12 hours to actually um, be able to effectively reduce certain comorbidities that they 
you know, may develop in life. If they're not getting enough sleep, their body doesn't have time to rejuvenate during the night when it's supposed to, to uh, be well rested and, re and ready for the next day. So I just wanted to give you those five tips. Again, eat the rainbow, move more, reduce screen time, uh, cut down the sugar, and get adequate sleep. Five easy, simple ways that you can help children to reduce and prevent obesity. So if you liked these tips in this video, please like this video, share this video with someone that you care about, and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also follow, like, subscribe to all of my other social media platforms that you can find below in the description box. If you have a question about anything that I've talked about in this video, you can put that in the comment section below. Or if you have a topic that you want to request for any future Wonderful Wednesday video, you can put that as well in the comment section below. Here is the time where I thank you for sharing this Wonderful Wednesday with me. Be blessed and stay healthy.